Now turning to fair value non-monetary items. These are translated using the exchange rate at the date of when the fair value was determined. Gains and losses are dealt with in the same way as historic cost non-monetary items, in that if gains or losses are usually recognized in OCI, then exchange differences are also recognized in OCI. If gains or losses are usually recognized in profit or loss, then the exchange differences are recognized in profit or loss. Turning now to our last example of accounting for foreign currency transactions. In this case, company A buys 100,000 US worth of land for cash. Its functional currency is Australian and it uses the revaluation model to account for the land. This purchase occurred on the 1st of July 2005 and company A has a 30 June financial year end. The land was revalued every four years. The AUD USD exchange rate and the US dollar land value has fluctuated over that period of time. You should now be pretty comfortable with accounting for the initial recognition entry. Because it's going back a number of years, the Aussie dollar is much weaker against the US than it is now. When the revaluation occurs on the 30th of June 2009, and we're assuming the revaluation occurs on the same date as the financial year end, the US dollar land value has declined and the Aussie dollar has strengthened, which leaves the fair value of the land at $118,086. The difference of 13320 is a revaluation decrement and is thus taken through profit or loss as a loss. When the revaluation occurs on the 30th of June 2013, both the US dollar land value and the Australian dollar have increased to 125000 and 0 0.9213 respectively. This provides an Aussie fair value of the land of $135,678 which is an increase of 17,592. As this is an increment reversing a previous decrement, the first 13,320 can be taken through as a gain, which reverses the prior loss, whilst the remaining 4,272 is taken through OCI. 